Okay, let's begin. Well, I start with music. Depending on how I feel, I have Pandora on and I have different you know, genres to play depending on what I'm going to use or what feeling I'm trying to go, what character. All of my mannequins, I start with a character and a feeling. Let's see, this was my first one right here. This is Jade and they all have names, but this is just part of them. Okay, so they all have names. And she was layered with comic book pieces, tear pieces from comic book, and I started with one color. So green, and I painted her all green and the green acrylic paint. Then I tore up the comic book and layered it on and then dripped more green paint on acrylic. This one right here has dried flowers, napkin, the dots you see here are from pieces of napkin. The flowers I dried myself. There's some more napkin, dried flowers, and acrylic paint. This one has some fabric. Paints. And like um, those little pieces of um, things that you, oh, tissue paper. There's this tissue paper is what's creating the different textures and colors. Like from here to here, this is tissue paper right here. Tissue paper right in here. And then I drip some of the paint there. So it's acrylic, tissue paper, some embellishments that you find in like Joann's and things like that in the, what is that? The, the section where you're doing pictures and stuff. They're little cutouts, I'll show them to you. This one, she is, this is all napkin. So this is paint right here. And then all this coloring here is just pieces of napkin. There's some more acrylic paint there. This guy here, all the background you see, like this part and that part, that's all napkin. All napkin and I took sponge and did, dipped it in paint the round sponges and then made the polka dots but this is the napkin this is the napkin this was all white and then I made some strips right here and glued the strips on and then I did the opposite here I glued the white strips on to black glued the black strips on see it has texture in there this one she has nap this is um the texture in here this is paper, you know, the handmade paper. This is some more napkin right here. These are all pins, feathers in there, the photograph that I took, and then more embellishments, dried flowers, the handmade paper. I also trimmed her in gold leaf. Like I said, there's some feathers in there. Some embellishments. This is just like a really nice twig that I liked. So this is my whole study area or my art area right here. That's out the back window. This is some paint, some acrylic paints that I use. And then she's the same thing. She's like one of a, a doll head. And she has, this is just fabric that I glued over her. And I repainted her and put eyelashes on and I did her hair all cool cause she's like Gaia. Now this is all of my, the, my things I have to choose from. Like I have some prints, I have paper napkins and comic books that I just save. Like when I like something, I just save it and put it in boxes. Fabric scraps tissue papers, all different decoupage boxes of stuff when I just find things that I like. And this is the company I was saying that those little embellishments come from, K and C Company, and then Jolie's that you'll find like at Joann's or Michael's. And there's more prints that I've done. I use stencils. These are, so the, um, this kind of stuff, this liquid varnish, I can add to paint and then have it make it drip down the mannequin. 
This is basically what I use right here, the Mod Podge. I like to get all of my um, papers on. I use Mod Podge. Uh, this is string gel to make strings. I like to use this medium to add to um, paint and then that gives me some texture but it's really soft, a soft texture. This is like flaky, I like that. The glass beads are another thing that I use to give myself, to give texture. This right here, the stiffen, that is for like if I wanted to make this stiffer. I've used it, but I didn't use it here, but I'll show another mannequin that I have used it in. And so I have all of this. This is all stuff that I just save. All little things that I like. Stuff from the beach. That, in my mind, I will eventually use. Here's some butterfly embellishments, watercolors, all kinds of stuff that I just save. When I go to the store, I go, you know, I think I might use that one day. Here's all my tissue papers because they come in bulk, so I buy all kinds of colors, and I love changing, that's for framing, but that's not it. Fabrics to add, fabrics are not as easy to add because they tend to puff up when they dry, but the tissue paper, if I don't want, I like the way the tissue paper works. It gives me a lot of texture, and it will change the color of the mannequin dramatically by just adding tissue paper, and I like the way it layers. The paint sometimes can, be flaky and crack. I don't see any here, but um, sometimes it can crack. So I really like to go use tissue paper to change the coloring first to avoid cracking. Okay, this is the outside. Now these are all the other mannequins that I have. I'll try to go quickly. So the white ones, this is what it looks like before. White or black. And see there's a maternity one you could get all kinds like this is a um they're all torsos so this is a torso and this is a longer torso that has like part of the legs and then you have the ones that don't have the leg part to it there's my cat woman back over there done the same way comic book drips of acrylic paint um this one has just those circles are just rubber bands and the outside, this part right here, that's tissue paper. And then the texture under there is from, I did her all in, um, she's fully done in the paper, the handmade paper. So I like the, really like the look of that. Let's see, these two guys, a male and a female, um, that's just tiny, like, pieces of paper that I cut out and then glued. And then tissue paper again. This one right here, this is all hot wax in paper. And the hot wax I use, um, well, I'll talk about that separately. This one, paper again, tissue paper. This one is textured with black um, handmade paper. And then it had a lot of drips of like some light blue going through there and some fabric also like the butterfly. There's a butterfly over there, that's fabric. Okay, I think that's it. All right, the, this one there. She was fun to make, but she wasn't, isn't my favorite. She's like, you use hot wax that I have that I take in like, um, all that is put away. So unless you really want to know about the hot wax, let's just skip that one because I don't have any of my stuff out at all for the hot wax. But like I said, all the other stuff is out. At one time, I was framing them. And it just was just too much to frame them all. But I was framing, let's see if I can get behind this one. See, that one is like a frame. So that's one way to do it too. This was a full mannequin torso. Front and back. And I did this. Those little bubble things were made from acrylic paint. So I did those. 
And then made flat pieces of acrylic paint with the color and then cut or cut them out. So they made like these little bubble things that I was happy with. But it was a lot of work. And she's also has um she's covered with the her colors coming from pa the paper, the tissue paper. And then the, the solid dots like these, these were made with um stencils. All right, I think that's it. I think I got everybody. This one's just painted with like sponge, acrylic paint, but using like a sponge. And then I hand painted that. She's not finished at all because I haven't figured out what I want to do with her yet. So some of these are in, they're not finished. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them. So they kind of just sit and wait for me to be inspired to, to see something that I like. And then go, oh yes, that I can add that to her. Or to him, but mostly hers. I do mostly females. I find that the when they're male, they're it's kind of like working on a flat canvas, so it doesn't offer much. I'm not inspired to do flat. I'm more inspired to try to to work around the curves and watch the way things drip and fall and pour. So if I'm thinking of something and then I put it onto a curvy body, I have to think about how to get it around and have it move around the curves. And that, that's what I like about. Um, working on the female figure, the curves. I think it's cool, and it's a challenge. Sometimes, like, you, you never know how you it's going to drip. So it's fun. If you have any questions, please give me a call. This is just some of my other stuff, my regular flat work. But most of that's also put away. But there's the mannequins. I think I covered all the mannequin stuff. Here they are again. The examples that I used. 